Hi, everyone. All right. So welcome to today's webinar for Monetize Your Passion Society. I'm Crystal, the creator of Monetize Your Passion Society and a repurposing and visibility strategist, helping overwhelmed entrepreneurs expand their visibility through content repurposing strategies so they can reach a wider audience, grow their impact, and fast track those big results. And I do this by handling social media, email marketing, web design, content creation, and so much more. Monetize Your Passion Society is a community for women entrepreneurs ready to monetize their passions and build a network of referrals with women from all industries. This group is a part of Greater Rochester, New York. Monetize Your Passion Society holds in-person events all over the greater Rochester area, actively educating, inspiring, and connecting local women entrepreneurs with an exclusive yet informal referral system. But we also host virtual events for our members that are actually located all over the world. So you can attend virtual webinars, coffee chats, co-working sessions, and so much more. So if you haven't joined the free community yet, please do so by going to crystalstatsky.com slash Monetize Your Passion Society, and I will put that link in the description. And without further ado, I'd like to go ahead and introduce our guest speaker, Feli Day. Feli is a CEO, entrepreneur, marketing mentor, and repurposing strategist, just like me, helping service business owners, marketing their offers in a feel-good way. She helps clients diversify their visibility with multiple platforms so they no longer have to re rely on one platform to grow. Amen to that. So I love that I have another repurposing strategist just like myself in Monetize Your Passion Society. And today she's going to sit with us to discuss how your mindset affects your marketing. So Feli, I'm going to go ahead and let you take the floor. Hello, everyone. Um, I'm excited to be in this group. I love talking on this topic. It's very near and dear to my heart. I think as we both work in content repurposing, you understand how much marketing plays a role into all of it, <laughs> all of your content and all of your content strategy and just your presence and brand voice and branding in your social media presence. So I wanted to start off by talking about what marketing is at its most simplest form. And to me, that is having conversations. So creating your content, getting on your stories, um, writing those emails, everything that you're trying to, everything that you're doing is working towards starting a conversation with your ideal clients or with your like leads, reaching people who are in colder audiences and bringing them in to the point where they start talking to you. Um, and the best way and the fastest way to see conversions from your marketing is when you are fully embodied and fully behind your offering and your business and your products and your services. And this is where your mindset really comes into play because I find when my, like the most common blocks that I see when your mindset is blocking your marketing or is affecting your consistency, your confidence and your conversions, because if you're getting on stories to talk about a program that you don't believe in, like it's, it's hard to be confident in something you don't believe in. And when you're not confident, it makes it harder to sell. Um, so a big problem that I can see in a lot of my clients or a lot of my audience is when they are building businesses that are separate from their values. And it makes it harder to show up like for your business, for yourself and for your offers. Um, yeah. So like when it comes to building a marketing strategy that aligns with your mindset, I think one of the most important things is to make sure that you're fully behind your offers and fully behind um, your business first and foremost. And that starts with like asking yourself, why are you doing this? What, what makes you what makes you wake up every day and want to talk about this? Because I completely agree with you. Mindset has a huge, huge piece behind your marketing. And I've had clients, I know you said it too, you've had clients too, that they're yeah. just not fully confident in their offers and it screws everything up. Like I have yeah. had clients, I'm not going to mention any names, but I've had them, yeah. you know, they're too busy paying attention to all of the other people around them. Like, especially business coaches, like 
they're following them on Instagram and they're paying attention to all these offers that this other business coach is doing. And they're like, oh my gosh, I need to do it too. And right there, it doesn't resonate with them. And then they have trouble marketing it. And then they get down about it. You know, they're upset about it because it's not working. It's like, that's because you took the idea from someone else. Like it's not your own, you know, it's not your own offer. It's not your own brand. So yes, I, I fully agree with you right there. Yeah. And I think like comparison can be people who have deleted their entire following off of Instagram, right? Because it's so easy to get stuck in that doom scroll and looking at what people are doing, what people are charging, and then thinking, oh, well, this person charges a thousand dollars, so I'm going to charge a thousand dollars. But then it's like, are you confident in asking for a thousand dollars? Do you believe that you're providing a service worth a thousand dollars? Like, are you fully behind that? Like a thousand dollars is the right match for what I'm providing because the second you don't think that or don't believe that if you think you deserve more, if you are uncomfortable asking that amount, it's going to make it that much harder. And then I see a lot of the times it makes people not like marketing because we think everything's hard and it's coming from a place of force, but it's like when you truly like, are behind it, are embodied in your offers and believe in it and have done the mindset work around it, it makes everything just flow, right? Like the content ideas come to you. It's easier to talk about your services and your offers because you're in love with them and you want everyone to know about it and you want to tell everyone about it. Like the, uh, I can't remember, like <laughs> the, the theory, right? That like when you're obsessed with something, you want to share it, you want to like put it in everyone's face, like everyone needs to know. And like, that's how it works. I think when you're fully embodied in your product or offer or business that the marketing just comes so much more natural because you're so in love with it. Yes. Yes. And I agree. Um, one of my, um, one of my first business coaches, she focused a lot on mindset. And in the beginning I was like, Oh, what is this bullshit? Like, <laughs> this is not what I signed up for, but I actually did it. I, I did do exactly what she told me to do. And it was amazing how it's shifting my mindset and, you know, journaling in the mornings and writing down my goals and, and hanging up something on the wall where, that I can manifest. Um, you know, like I wanted to make $10,000 in a month. And so I put $10,000 like all over the place, you know, written right. everywhere and it actually like worked, you know? So I, I definitely agree. Mindset has a a huge piece um, in your marketing. Comparison and like how comparing your pricing and your offers and your messaging to other people can be a massive block because you end up taking on other people's stories and other people's narratives. And then you get to the point where it's like, why am I doing this? Like, why did I price it this way? Why am I running a group program when I want to work one-on-one? You know, like it, it, you can end up having a business that no longer aligns with your values or with your desires or with your lifestyle. And I find a lot of people end up marketing from a place of shoulds, like marketing, um, trying to post like a reel every day or two times a day because someone said to, or trying to get on stories and talk about your offers in a really structured way of like, today we talk about this, tomorrow we talk about that, and next day we talk about this versus like, building a strategy that works with their lifestyle and with their business and with the ways they like to show up online, right? Because some people like recording podcasts, recording YouTube videos, making TikToks. Somebody hate being on video and would rather write emails or write captions or make like beautiful graphics like the carousel posts and share those instead of like getting on the reels, right? So I think marketing not with the shoulds but like with what feels good what your energy what aligns with your energy not comparing yourself like making sure your offer is what you truly want what you truly believe in not what you consumed from someone else not what you know like maybe you saw another coach doing in your industry right like i i personally don't follow other um like content repurposing agencies because i find it's too much like too much comparison and if i do follow I don't look at like their offers because then I find myself comparing like my packages and like 
my clients, their clients, like, especially when it's like, I had a conversation and then I see them sign with you. I'm like, Oh, like, what did you do that I didn't do? <laughs> right. So it's like, it's hard to have a healthy balance if you're following everyone doing the same things as you. And I think a lot of the people who fall into that trap can be like health coaches and business coaches that I see, like our industry of content repurposing is a little more new maybe <laughs> but yeah. yeah like following a variety of people versus following the people who are like your direct competitors and then just not comparing yourself to them all the time <laughs> right right and i know that's really hard to do like especially us as content creators there's so many other content creators out there that it's just hard to not compare yourself mm -hmm. um i find you know, I, I do like to follow some just to get ideas, but I really try hard to not copy um, because like you said, then you, you fall into this um, kind of like this never ending circle, I want to say, where you just, mm -hmm. you, you create something that doesn't resonate with you and your business. Um, so yeah, I totally understand. And then you struggle to sell it and then you like get down on yourself and then you restart create a new thing, yeah, launch it's a it. Vicious cycle. It is a vicious cycle and everybody yeah. does it, you know, at least once, like you can yeah. try really hard not to, but there's some really great stuff out there that it's like, oh man, you, you know, you see it and you're like, oh man, I should really, really do that. Um, so I'm sure we've all, you know, done it and then realized yeah. Ooh, that's not for me. And, and like, I think I, it, Go ahead. I was going to say, like, I think it is important to like observe like what's happening in the market, what's trending, what's popular, what other people are doing, but maybe not like the person in the exact same industry as you. Like I follow someone who runs an engagement in, um, agency, right? So she like only does Instagram engagement. I don't do that at all, but it's like the way she structures her business, the way she like manages her agency. I'm like, oh, that's interesting. And I find it's like, I don't feel myself comparing my offers to hers because we're completely different, but I can still learn from her and how she like has her like email sequence structured for like leads, you know, and like the way like she talks about her offers and the different things she's doing or the different trends she's on real. I'm like, Oh, that's interesting. Like I could see how I could make that about my industry, but I don't feel the same, like the same like need of like, Oh my God, I'm doing it wrong that I do when it's like someone in my industry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. And I know you mentioned earlier about, um, oh, what was it? I should have written it down. But you were talking about how, you know, you shouldn't follow the same strategy that everybody else is. So, you know, if someone else is making reels like three days a week and you don't want to be on video at all, like don't do it, do what resonates with you and your business. And I, mm -hmm. I definitely, relate to that because I, I, I've worked with a couple of business coaches at this point um, and to get me to where I am. And all of them have been great in one aspect or the other, but there, there has been some that are like, they give you very specific strategies to follow. And I've had a really hard time with some of them because they're like, oh, you need to do reels two days a week. You should do a live stream one to two days a week or something like that. And, you know, so on and so forth. And what I struggled with was really finding a strategy that works for me. So that's a huge part of um, finding something that works with you, you know, yeah. and helping you in your marketing because you can't just copy from other people. You need to find what works for you. <laughs> yeah, I remember like one of my first coaches, I was going to like my first like real launch because I'd been a, a service provider and as a virtual assistant, it's like, you're always open. Right. And then I was launching a, a mindset course. And so it was like my first, like actual open, opening the doors kind of launch. And I remember being like, I don't know like what to do. Like I've just always been open, like always available for calls. So like, what is, what is like the difference, you know, of like when you're gearing up towards something, what am, what am I supposed to be doing to prepare? And she's like, you need to go live like every day, every day before your launch, go live. I do not like going live. I never go live. Like I've never liked going live. I'm like, I'll, I'll make a TikTok. I'll go on my stories, but like, 
I just feel weird doing lives by myself. It's not my thing and it's never been my thing. And so yeah. then it was like every morning I'm waking up being like, I have to go live. I have to go live. Like I, I said, I was going to talk about this thing. And then it's like this, the wrong energy, right? Like I'm coming from like, oh, I have to do this. Not I want to do this. Not I enjoy doing that. Like not, it's fun to do, right? So it was like, after that launch, I was like, yeah, no, that's, that's, that's not the right way to do it. Because like, I don't think I could just follow what you do because it doesn't work for me. You love lives. I don't like them. <laughs> yeah, it's very important to find that balance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and like um, <laughs> working with a coach that like understands that there is like the flow and that there is flexibility in your business versus like I think some people really thrive on strategy and some people need structure and strategy, but there's always there's always like uh, a room for flow, room for flexibility within each strategy. And like, even if you're like, okay, I want to like adopt your waitlist strategy, like teach me how to launch through a waitlist. You still need to like take that and make it yours. You're not going to like copy word for word the emails, right? Like it's so yes. important to like make it yours, make it related to you and like make sure you're excited about it. I think like something that gets like so pushed aside is actually like having fun and like enjoying it and if you need to like gamify your launch or like gamify your offers even to enjoy it like do it but you have to like have your energy always be behind it <laughs> well thank you so much for joining us I feel like I learned a lot I, I love doing these webinars because it's like I don't know little coaching sessions for me because I'm like jotting down notes and <laughs> and getting a lot of value from them. So thank you so much for joining us. Everybody be sure to follow Feli at Feli Day and myself at Crystal Statsky on social media. And if you are watching the replay on YouTube, please be sure to hit like and subscribe and be sure to join Monetize Your Passion Society on Facebook so you can join in on our future webinars. We do have another one on Thursday at 4 p.m featuring Shavavian Alistair. She's going to discuss imposter syndrome, which is a great um, continuation on from today's conversation, I feel. So she's going to share with us like what it is and how to overcome it and all that good stuff. So I hope to see everybody there. Thank you so much once again for joining us.